Jason, inexplicably, inexplicably, I know I've said this before, but inexplicably, you are now my Call of Duty guy. What like, happened? I did. You tell me, motherfucker. The pandemic happened. You got that <laughs> vaccine, and now you're running Call of Duty all the time. I, I think that's the real conspiracy. Sorry. <laughs> it, it, it turned. I'm. I'm. I'm the Winter Soldier. I think. I'm just waiting. I just. Just tell, say say words at me. Just say, like, say words to try to like activate me. Tapioca, North Dakota, uh, uh, spaghetti. I've got a lot of... I'm really hungry right now, apparently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Dojo, everybody. I'm Jeff. I'm Jason. And uh, Jason, I am the guy that cares about the... Uh, the single player campaign for Call of Duty. So there's a new Call of Duty, and I hear this one's got a good one. So I don't know. Uh, I hear that as well. Uh, I actually had to stop playing Call of Duty mm -hmm. with uh, uh, so that I could come play Call of Duty. <laughs> you had to give Warzone a break so I could do the I could do the dojo with Jeff to look at the single player campaign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh exactly. my god. Uh, but I haven't played the single player campaign yet. I've just been playing multiplayer, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. Unlocking attachments for various weapons, getting a good spread, LMG, assault rifle, sniper, that's what I'm running. But let's be honest, most of the time, I'm in an armored car trying to run over people. It's so weird how the uh, how Call of Duty now has so much like vehicle combat in it. Um, yeah, it's weird, though, because the last time, <clears throat> sorry, the last one of these... Uh, the first Modern Warfare, or like the, I guess the, the reboot of Modern Warfare, uh, I thought it was too dark. It was just too like, a uh, bunch of guys, fucking operators going around doing stuff. And I was like, no, I want it to be a fun action movie, not like actual. <laughs> I don't want to watch. Want bad company. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I didn't want a transcript of a Tom Clancy book. I just wanted to watch the Tom Clancy movie starring Harrison Ford. Or, uh, yeah, I, I think it'd be even livelier than that. I mean, it's it, it bears a lot in common with like, you know, like Extraction mm -hmm. with uh, Thor. Yeah, you know, it's more like one of those movies. Yeah, punch some teenagers in the face, like kick the shit out of some teenagers. <laughs> it's a uh, uh, yeah, the Call of Duty games. They they oh. like taken what the, the throne. The fuck are uh, they from uh, Battlefield? Oh, yeah, 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 because EA... What the fuck? What are they... What? I was not paying close enough attention, Jason. What is happening? You know, it's a <laughs> missile, and they're launching it. I'm oh, my God. Probably... Oh, dude, steer them. Are you steering a missile? I'm steering a missile, man. Oh, man. Oh. Why haven't I played the single player yet? This is J dope. Jason, it, uh, I got to tell you, I don't, I'm not trying to rub your face in it or anything. It feels so good on the PlayStation 5 with that, like, super rumble. Like, th these are some rumbles right here. Like, ooh, boy. Here we go. Fucking NASA hitting that shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a over. That's a bit of overkill, I think. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if that's Ghost right there, yeah. mm -hmm. that's him. Uh, yep. He's probably like, I also have cancer now. <laughs> you know, and did I you see? Blind. Did you see a thing like, like Jason? I don't want to get into like a whole conversation about drone warfare, but did you remember it was like a year ago or something? There was like a drone strike that happened where they had a drone where it was like it wasn't a missile like that. It just had a giant metal blade that like came out of the side, and then you just run down and fucking. Right Whoosh! Just okay. samurai, samurai drones coming out of the sky. I was like, "Holy shit!" It's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I may have uh, played around with trying to make one of those for Modern Road, but uh, I couldn't get it to work. Uh, drones can only support so much duct tape. Mm -hmm. So, so. Hey, look! It's that guy. <laughs> I know. It's like I'm watching a video game, but that's clearly that guy. Yeah, and I, I, I swear to God, it's like a real travesty, Jason, that this guy has been like a military dude in every movie I've seen in the history of my life, and I have no idea what the fuck his name is. <laughs> uh, it's like Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> it's like, dude is just a cop. He is an Irish cop from Boston, and he's got like. 900 credits on IMDb mm -hmm. of being 
the cop from Boston. <laughs> it's like that one guy that um, that played uh, Ding Chavez in the in the Tom Clancy movies. It was in like Training Day or whatever. That's always just like this really buff military dude. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it's like, hey, I always get cast for this one role. It's like it's guaranteed work for a long time. You know what? I, I like to think that the other guys in the spec ops make fun of Ghost and his dumb fucking Punisher mask that he wears all the time. <laughs> They're just like, ooh, look at me. I'm Ghost Rider. Oh, I'm the spirit of vengeance. Like, come on, dude. Put on the fucking face paint like the rest of us have. Yeah. Uh, you know that the other ones are probably like, why can't he dress up like a Fortnite guy like everybody else? <laughs> Is there a way that I can make Ghost Floss? Because if that's an option, I want to see it. I'd be willing to pay $5 to see that. <laughs> oh, I was uh, talking with a friend the other day, and she said, I realized that every Halloween costume I didn't recognize was from Fortnite. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go capture this guy. We're just doing... Uh... Wait, wasn't... Um... Jason, you would actually know this. After Modern Warfare came out, wasn't there like a story to Warzone where you were like, Ghost was like giving you orders to, wasn't there like a framing device that involved Ghost in Warzone? Oh, you know what? Probably, but that sounds like the shit that I skip so I can actually play Warzone. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's like, you know, in Call of Duty, you know, in the single player, it's like, man, I, I want to pay attention to the story, and I'm going to go back and play it. I'm not even paying attention to what's going on right now because I don't want to spoil it for me. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm just, I'm actually reading and talking to you uh -huh. uh, and because uh, I don't want to oh, ruin shit. it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, but as far as like Warzone, it's like, okay, there's a story, whatever, shut up. No, there's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's, except, I mean, you know, when we played it, when, you know, Godzilla and, and all that, that was cool. There's kind of a story. The story was that Godzilla was there. That's right, the story. Right, right, right. I didn't understand that. At, at like, oh God, no, don't, stop it. Stop it. So, what do you, oh my God, I held onto the grenade. <laughs> I was trying to say no grenades. I thought, you know, in the in the previous mission with Ghost, R1 like zoomed me in so I could look at uh, uh, things from afar. And now all of a sudden it's the grenade button. Come on, Call of Duty. Give me a heads up. Also, oh, I loved how you just pulled the pin and suddenly you forgot how grenades work. It's no. just like, no, stop being a grenade. I was I was frantically hitting the rest of the buttons to see if I could oh. put the grenade away, <laughs> and then I forgot that it was just going to go off in my hand, because there's nothing more deadly in the entire universe than a Call of Duty grenade outside of a Call of Duty car that's on fire. Like, uh, there is... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> You're right. There is no there is no munition in Call of Duty that oh they, you guys want me over here? Okay. Do you, uh, we just You know guys can I just can I just Do you guys just want to Leroy Jenkins this? Like can we just get in there and <laughs> I I really I would really like to be like one of the other players when something like that happens and you drop, pull the pin and you're like, uh, uh, and all the other, the rest of your platoon or whatever looking at you going, the fuck you doing, man? What, did you, just, you just pull the pin? Get the, yep. why? Why do yep. you do that? Oh, man. So, Jason, I, I gotta, like, I have a confession to make, okay? Um, this is just reminding me about the first Modern Warfare game um, and how, like, there was a, uh, there was a mission in there where you had to go into like a like an apartment um, in the middle of the night to like capture slash kill these insurgents or terrorists or something. And with the night vision filter and like the graphics, it was so realistic that it started giving me like weird vibes where I was like, this looks too much like I'm actually shooting real people. Like I need this to be a little bit more abstract. Oh shit. Uh, oh. Um, it was very strange. It was very strange. Yeah, I uh, no, I understand, and that's why, you know, like some people, like I don't know, they like oh, to shit. throw words around, like, you know, when they're talking to me, like armchair warrior mm -hmm. and asshole who doesn't know what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, but when the juggalos come, I'm gonna be ready. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, that's. I'm going to tell you honestly, that's why I've been playing so much Call of Duty, and I haven't talked about it in a while. It's because the Juggalos have been way too quiet, and I've been in, like, Nick Fury <laughs> preparations. Yeah. Because I think some shit's going to go down, and uh, Activision is helping me prepare for oh the, uh. the, the invasion. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, my God, they're coming out of the... Moving interior. Okay, d yeah, d turn that off. <laughs> Oh, is that guy? Is that what is he doing? Is he right. one of my guys? Dead. Is he dead? He looks, he's I pretty think he's dead. One of your guys? Did I you think, shoot him? I might have shot him, but I thought he was shooting at me. Ah, hey! Uh -oh. oh, that's that's ghost. That's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly tried to shoot him. It wouldn't let me. <laughs> and therein lies the problem when, with with my abilities, mm -hmm. it's like, if you're if I'm if I'm in the shit mm -hmm. and. Your name doesn't pop up on a HUD to let me know you're a friendly. I'm probably gonna kill you. Yeah, not on purpose. Hey everybody, where's the guy? Oh, there he is. Fucking get your radio out of the way. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is at least better than uh, Vanguard was. Ooh, Jason, look, it's water. It's mountain spring water. Okay, cool. Uh, is that it? Are we done? Which hallway? This hallway? Oh, okay. I'll go shoot him. Did you get shot, shot like it? Oh. Ghost. Enemy rockets down. Fair enough. I'm, I, just looking at them and watching you, I'm not certain who's who. Yeah, me neither. Uh, me the fuck either. It's why I keep pausing. Nope. God damn it, lady. Oh, come on. I don't want to do that. I want to start my Saturday oh. afternoon. Oh. You you just swatted her, dude. Yeah. She was streaming. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> this video is going to be the most demonetized video I've ever recorded. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, God, no. There's, there's, like, bad words now. We were already talking about COVID and drone strikes and then swatting. It's like we're just we're just we're just running down the list of like shit that it's not okay to talk about on the internet. Yeah, there's like all these forbidden words apparently. So yeah. streamers have had to develop this and, and YouTubers have had to develop this like way of of I don't know, uh this it's a it, they're creating an argot. You know, yeah. like a clockwork orange. Yep. Yep. <sighs> And I have not bothered to learn any of the terms, so sorry about your monetization, Jeff. Oh, no, there's a reason that Rage Select videos only get, like, 400 hits. <laughs> because every so often we'll do one where it's just, like, for no reason whatsoever, it gets, like, 12,000 hits. And it's like, okay, so you guys are not just, you're just not showing my videos to people because I refuse to uh, say, like, Roblox and in Minecraft and crap like that, so... Okay, so we got a Black Hawk Down kind of thing going on. My gun's on the tree line. It was already on the tree line. Wait, is that a guy? Looks like a guy over there. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a guy. That was a guy. Kind of see these guys. That's spooky. Oh, that was one of the things that I was complaining about. I think the last time I played one of these was with Chris last year, and I was starting to complain about how, like, some of these new graphics engines for Call of Duty are so detailed <laughs> between the... Uh, like the sparks and the smoke and the light and the stuff that I'm just like tell what's going on yeah I feel like I, I actually need to go to military school in order to learn how to function in this environment because I can barely play this game anymore I'm too old I know I know it's getting to the point where it's like okay uh, this is too realistic and war is hell <laughs> and, uh, it's like I, like you brought fuck? it, you've taken it to the point and made it so immersive that I'm having panic attacks. Yep. Ah, ah. There you go. Get the fuck out of there. Okay. Yeah. Let's... And but ah. mostly, mostly like when I'm playing, because I've been playing since it came out. I've been playing the multiplayer on this a lot. Are you playing? <clears throat> are you playing uh, uh, just Warzone, or are you playing like the actual? Like well, team no, deathmatch. I, I, I was playing Warzone. Yeah, I was playing Warzone. Right, I was playing a lot of Warzone. Uh, it's and I really, I kind of want to play Warzone with you on Rage Select at some point, Jeff. We've done that. We've done that several I know, times. But I want to do it again because I've got new techniques. <laughs> okay, <got> new moves. <laughs> okay, I got something that I, I I'll tell you. Oh no! Oh secrets. And, and I'm probably the bane of Warzone. Uh huh. In that. 
whenever I start playing, people probably go, oh, this fucking guy again. Yeah. Because if there's a vehicle, I'm going to get in it, mm -hmm. and I'm going to drive like a damn maniac. I get I get way more kills driving than I do shooting. Uh-huh. Uh, because I love taking the cars oh my God. and, like, going up staircases. <laughs> and it's like, there is nothing more exciting than imagining the baffled screams of someone when they're in a third-floor hallway. <laughs> And suddenly an SUV comes barreling down the hall. So you become that guy that, that's going to spend like 40 minutes in Halo trying to get the Warthog through like the place where you're not supposed to, where you're supposed to get out of the Warthog because like, God damn it, I want to keep the Warthog for fuck's sake. Uh, 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 well, you know, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I've actually, that that's how it started, Two, three guys but I've become pretty gone. adept at it. Okay. Like... like how did I get on the roof with this car? <laughs> and, and so it's just like, and I call it Devil Wheel. It's like, I'm just going to play Devil so Wheel. Nice. So it's, I've annoyed Allison quite a bit, just like throwing the horns up and just going, Devil Wheel, whenever somebody <laughs> drops. It's, it's amazing. Okay. Oh, but also uh, the new, I've been playing, uh, I've been playing Ground War on the new one. Which okay. is like where you it, it, it's uh where you take different where you control different points like battlefield style you know like mm -hmm. five different points on the map and each uh, each team has to control as many of them for as long as they can. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, how the fuck are we supposed to deal with cars? Wait, can I just? Oh, okay. Well, that was Those a bit... armored cars. Are yeah. Really more than that, you could you could shoot the uh, you could shoot the drivers. It swap to frag. But, Actually, use my grenades. Also, oh, they also, have, they also have uh, mounted turrets. So, okay. Uh, this is no good. This is a this is a bad day, guys. I'm not a fan of this. Oh shit. Oh, I don't know what the hell. Okay. Uh, hell. Oh, did we get our uh, air support? Have you? Oh yeah, we did. It's just like yeah. This is very much like. When you watch Black Hawk Down and you just want to stress vomit. <laughs> Black Hawk Down used to be one of those movies that I put on and then fall asleep to at the end of the night. I don't know why and I don't know how. But <laughs> Man, not me. Okay. I'm not even one of those war bros mm -hmm. who just watch all the war movies and like, you know those nerds that are just like, oh, that's this type of tank and it was developed in 1997, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those. I, I think I just play Call of Duty because it's easy. And also it's usually reliably pretty good. Yeah, I uh, I, I think I went through the, the point in my life when I was younger and played a lot of Counter-Strike where I was like, I could probably do this. And my friend was like, okay, let's go shoot guns. And I went and got <laughs> shot a real gun. I was like, oh, never mind. Never fucking mind. They're so loud, Jason. Guns are really loud. <laughs> they are loud. Uh, Smelly? Yeah. They smell bad? They're Smelly. dirty? Yeah, the, the like a 44 will like blow black powder back in your face or whatever. It was yep. like, why am I being hit with, with smoke? What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 you know what? Here, here's the reason why I could never get like into guns because man, bullets are just too expensive. Yeah, it's also oh Jesus, what the fuck? Oh my God, fucking snipers. Um, it's also you know it's like uh, bullets are expensive, guns are expensive, range time is expensive, and then also it's like you know you need like a case, you got to show up, you got you need like headphones to keep it from uh, killing killing your eardrums, and then it's like you get to go and you get to shoot for an hour, uh, you got to buy the targets, and then you got to come home and clean them. So, oh Jesus, ow, fuck, ow, Jesus, ow. Um, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot to do, and yeah, I don't that's know too much. I, I think it's useful. I like the I think it's useful to know kind of like how guns work and to go shoot them a few times. But like, man, I don't want to own that shit. Like, I don't. It, I'm just in a position in my life where I'm just like, man, I don't care. Take my stuff. Whatever. It's <laughs> what you, See, as far as like, oh I'm boy. too busy, Ooh. like working and like writing all the time and working on projects and stuff like that. that yeah. I. If I have a hobby, I need to be able to just press start on it. Oh, there and, he is. And, and enjoy the hobby. And then when I'm done enjoying the hobby, I need to just be able to just 
literally drop it on the coffee table. Sit on the and, couch and, and, and eat Cheetos. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, the hobby is over. I have to get back to work. I don't need any cleaning. I don't need oh, jeez. What? What the fuck? Oops. I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what I think happened. There were people there. shooting at you. I. Th- it seems like that might have been... That sounds like something that would happen in a Call of Duty game, Jason, but I didn't see any of them. I feel like I just wandered into murder. Like, there was just a big field of... Oh, wait, shit, there's another sniper. Ow, Jesus, what the fuck is... Ow, Jesus! Yeah, he was shooting you again. Okay. Or someone was shooting you with a gun. Someone, there was a... There, I think there's a guy with a gun up there somewhere. Okay, there's a second uh, sniper. Oh, there he is. Is that... Is this the yeah, guy? get him. Fucking Pop him. Yeah. Boom. There. There's another one, though. Oh, is there another one? Let's see. Let's oh, see. shit. Yeah, there's another green laser. Oh, okay. So that was what was happening. There was like, I swear to God, I, I need to take one of my headphones out that's listening to you. I don't need Jason in stereo. I need to get instructions from fucking Ghost about how many snipers there are. I, I, I bet someone watching is like, they literally just told you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, no, I'm supposed to be, like, all down on the ground and shit. Like, they're fucking... They've got, like, a thousand machine guns in there, and they're shooting them all yeah. right at me. Suppressing fire. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm trying to get further down. Oh, my God. Ow. Ow. Oh, shit. Are they going to do something cool? Do some cool. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. This looks intense and awesome. Uh, one of the other things that I could really recommend to people uh, about oh, Call of Duty yeah. is doing some of the co-op missions. There's like a whole there's a whole menu uh, of yeah. specifically co-op stuff that I was thinking might be might be fun at some point to try. But yeah, um, it, it's usually kind of an afterthought. Honestly, it, it seems like that it's not as well oh. developed as the big group stuff or the team deathmatch or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, the six v six. It's usually it it, it it often seems like. It's like the least developed part of the game in a mm-hmm. lot of ways, but they're still fun because it's just like because a lot of times, like on like Modern Warfare, on the first Modern Warfare, not the first one, but the, God damn it, the why remake. Did they do that? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. it's stupid. Uh, it, it's it it felt like it was sometimes really hard, mm-hmm. and so it's like my brother and I would play, and then we would we would fail over and over, and it's like okay, new technique. I'm gonna try a different loadout. It was just a lot of fun, you mm-hmm. know. Just like with you and a friend, like trying to figure out exactly how to penetrate uh, or how to achieve the goal that they set out for you. Oh, 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 that, that didn't seem necessary. <laughs> he, he gave him a little of the John Wick. Yeah. A little, little double tap. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, well, again, that didn't seem. He got he, Ghost, man. You got to work on these uh, anger issues that you got. Hey, so I have a I have a plan. Okay. It's a long-term plan. Okay. Uh, it's going to require a Kickstarter. Okay. <laughs> uh, and it is to turn me into John Wick, basically. <laughs> At uh, how how old are you, Jason? <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, well, uh, oh, well, how old is Keanu Reeves? He's older than me. Yes, but John Wick isn't real. <laughs> well, but, but it's it's all reasonable. Okay, some of it's not reasonable. Some of it, okay, some of it's reasonable. <laughs> like what? Are, okay, well, like, like hold on. Let's 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 try this on for size. Let's try this okay. one, Jason. Let's say that you manage to become John Wick. You do know, you do realize that there isn't like some kind of weird 1950s retro themed assassin guild that just takes care of everything, right? Like if you go to a building and shoot everybody in it, <clears throat> the cops will arrest you for that. Okay, while all of that is disappointing, uh-huh. it's, it's it's not relevant. That's not oh, what I'm talking okay. about here. Okay, so <laughs> all right. I need to find like I need to figure out that, like what kind of karate he uses. Uh huh. Uh, his 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 BJJs and his and his kung fu's and his Krav Magas and all that. Mm-hmm. I need to figure out like what John Wick's technique is. We're gonna do that. Uh, also, I'm probably gonna get like fit. Like I gotta like m- you know start jogging or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so a, a personal trainer. So the Kickstarter will pay for the personal trainer and the karate people. Uh huh. The karate's. Yeah. All the, they're gonna teach me probably a bunch of different karate's. Uh. 
and go to those tactical shooting ranges, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Also, guns. I'm going to have to buy guns. And, and bullets and, and all the things you were talking about, the Kickstarter will also... Jason, that. Total we, transparency here, Jeff. Total we, just, transparency. We, we just had a conversation about how much work it is to buy, own, and shoot guns. And now you're telling me that if somebody else paid for it, but you're still going to do all the work to, like, drive to a place, go to a place, do a thing, like like clean up after the thing that you did. Like we were just talking about how you need hobbies where when you get done, you could just fucking turn them off, sit on the couch and eat pork rinds. And like, that's not well, this becoming isn't a John hobby, Wick. <laughs> this isn't that? a hobby though. This oh, is, oh. This is a life goal. This, this is not a hobby. <laughs> and so this is a lifestyle. Also, the, the Kickstarter will also fund the suits. Uh-huh. I get some, some suits, bulletproof suits. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh shit! Uh, and, you know, that's got to be. I mean, if you really wanted to look right, it's got to be fitted, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So. Sure. Uh, also, uh, tactical driving and a couple of cars. I'm gonna need some cars. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know if you're writing this down or whatever, but like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's being recorded for posterity. It's, so it's gonna <laughs> add up. It's gonna add up. I don't know what the number is yet, but I'm gonna need some help figuring that. You, you do. You uh, remember? So, uh, there's also the horse. There's the uh, horse. The horse. That I he gotta rides. Get some equestrian training in there. Yep. There's, There's a lot of, of knife work in the second a lot movie. of knife work. Right? Yep. So I'm mm-hmm. gonna have to get somebody to teach me knife work. I'm gonna have to get some, this is gonna get expensive. That's what I'm saying. So again, Kickstarter, <laughs> right? Well, no. So I, I'm, I'm gonna basically become John Wick. It'll uh-huh. probably take like you know five or six months. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a, sure. <laughs> like five or six hard months. Like. This is going to be like a nine to five thing, like five days a week, two days off, probably. Mm -hmm. Uh, And a cheat day every other week. Um, Anyway, whatever. Uh, So cheat days for like donuts and shit, you know. Um, And so I can play Call of Duty because I got to keep my mind sharp. Um, So what happens at the end of this? Uh, That's that's what I'm still hazy about. What do you do once you know all the John Wick stuff? Oh, shit. Are we installing a new graphics card? I'm going to go to the laser tag place. (laughs) Uh, near my house. I'm going to fuck some kids up. <laughs> Jason, uh, kids are stupid. You and I could go to Laser Tag tomorrow and fuck some kids up. Like, we... we I mean, we, I don't want to hurt anyone, but I want to, like... I want to, like, win. It, we can go do... We can go do paintball as well, but... Uh-huh. The Kickstarter, there has to be enough money in the Kickstarter to afford the paintballs. I don't, I don't, I don't think that you need to. I don't think that you need to learn like you know uh, knife assassin skills in order to beat a bunch of kids at paintball. I think, uh, uh, I think we could just go and cheat. Like it's 2022, <laughs> man. Yeah. So I don't know what kids are like anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what they're. Maybe they've got crazy knife skills and bringing that to the paintball. So you think you when think was the last time you went to play paintball? You think I've never I don't I don't play paintball because this is Texas and I don't go outside. It's stupid out there. It's fucking I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I've never done paintball either. But But it's not my like life goal to beat a bunch of kids at paintball. <laughs> I've never gone to paintball either. Because I haven't been trained yet. You don't need training to go to paintball. <laughs> uh, I kind of just established that you really should, though. That it would be fucking cool. Negative. I found a weapons cache. He's got some missiles. Okay. I mean, if I can't, like, use a paintball gun to give somebody a gut shot and then double tap them in the forehead, uh-huh. I mean, why are we even talking about this? I think they kick you out of paintball for doing that. <laughs> Like, I don't think you're supposed to shoot people in the Let's face in paintball Everybody because out. you could literally knock their eyeball out of their head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, put this on the list of things the Kickstarter needs to pay for. Uh-huh. Uh, my own paintball uh, field in international waters. Jason, I've got a, I've got a different, I've got a different idea. T- let me run this alternative Kickstarter by you and see how you feel about that. Oh, it's fucking Halloween. Um, what if instead of that, we go get those stunt guys that you and Brian talked to on the Modern Rogue, and what if we hire a bunch of children and we just film scenes from John Wick? But you are shooting a bunch of children instead, uh, and then we just, you know, cut it all together in editing so that it looks really cool, and then you can just watch that DVD instead of spending, you know, 
uh, uh, several months uh, uh, well, crafting yourself into the ultimate murder machine in order to win at laser tag. On that side uh, by I would... I would like to, like, fast. not intimate that we're... Or I'd like to make it explicit Goldie that we are not talking about ghosts. shooting kids. Uh-huh. <laughs> we are talking about winning at paintball and laser tag. I'm talking about making a, uh, making a short film where it looks like John Wick is shooting a bunch of kids. Um, nah. No? I'm going to hard pass on that one. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. No. No, no. I just... I, I was, uh, I, here's I was, the thing. If we're going to do that, it's going to be Juggalos, man. I was, I was looking at we're also, that. We're also not shooting them. We are tranquilizing them to tag them and release them back into the wild. I, I was also looking over the list of things that get you demonetized on YouTube. But I think we got a full bingo. So we got five in a row right across the card at this point. So um, if you're watching this on Vimeo... Hey, welcome to Rage Select. <laughs> we used to have a YouTube channel. <laughs> you keep this tight. Keep it tight. Naturally, sir. Okay. Is this Amsterdam? Amsterdam. Uh, Jason, there is a level in here that's in a hotel, and the hotel. It's so close to a real hotel that that hotel is like considering legal action against Activision. Oh, is this the one? Yeah, huh. yeah. You know, you gotta wonder. Like, I'm curious about the rights to present something like that. That's like, that, that's really interesting to me because it's kind of like, uh, uh, what's her name, Lindsay Lohan, suing. Grand Theft Auto for using her like this, but this is a place. Right. The thing uh, that I learned from from uh, news stories about this that I read was that like uh, you can copyright architecture, so you can like slap a copyright on your building, especially if it was made by you know like a specific architect or whatever, and then say you're not allowed to just copy my my building. Like this is my building. Price, are you wearing that dumb hat underwater? <laughs> that is not an underwater hat. It's going to get water all the time. Oh, my God. How is it even staying on? I don't know. This special tactical fucking hat. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a tactical underwater hat. Yeah. That's that's the best. That's uh, I like the idea that that somebody gave Price that like one of his like buddies in like basic training gave him that hat as like a dumb like it was like a white elephant gift at Christmas or something. It was like Secret Santa and he got this dumb hat and then that guy like died and so Price is just like, "Oh shit, now I got to wear this hat forever. Looks like shit. Doesn't do anything. It's not big enough. Like it has no it's, tactical value. It's yeah, like I got a sweater your grandmother made you, and so you gotta wear it. Yeah, on Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I think. Um, oh my goodness! Start with the guy on the pier. I'm gonna kill this guy on the pier, but uh, um, oh, throwing knife. Uh, hello. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Uh, but I think we should uh, wrap it up because um, right. I, I feel like we're done with kind of the uh, first part here. So um, it looks great. Yeah, it's been really fun. I I, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to play it because I'm in the middle of playing Bayonetta 3 and like fucking God of War comes out next week and November is just packed to the gills. So like, you know, I spent the money. I'll probably come back at some point later. But because um, this one seems like it might be more fun than the previous one. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, let us know what you think down in the comments, and then maybe go to patreon.com forward slash rage select. Helps out, kick us some bucks, uh, get some bonus videos in return. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, shit, how do I get out of here? Uh, we uh, we have so many bonus videos, and the, the Patreon uh, dipped a little bit last month, so, you know, if you've got uh, a, a few what extra bucks. What the fuck, people? Well... <laughs> I mean, it always tends to dip around um, around the holidays, but um, it was just a little bit more a little bit more than usual this time around. So you know, if people have a few extra bucks in their pocket, oh my god, mm. <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you got you guys got to start hitting up your nanas again <laughs> because <laughs> that's that was the backbone. That oh, was the backbone of Rage Select. Yeah, it was the nanas. Uh, um, well, Jason, when you're not doing. John Wick training, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, 
Oh, uh, every Thursday night we are streaming Roll Fast Dice Hard on twitch.tv oh. forward slash The Strangerous. It's also on my YouTube channel, which is also called The Strangerous. Check us out there. And I'm posting all sorts of shorts and everything. Sign up at my Substack, thestrangerous.substack.com. Okay. Uh, yeah, and if you missed it, you should go back and watch the um, uh, uh, Asylum videos from, from this year. We did uh, we had a oh, really good, good stuff. Yeah, really good. What? They see me. Okay, well, I fucked it all up. Fucked it all up. <laughs> I don't know. We'll deal with the fallout tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you then, everybody. Bye.